that it was merely swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? Jesus got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. And the wind died down and it was completely calm. Jesus said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. I wonder if you've ever been on a boat in the sea and it's been a bit rough. Yeah. Yeah. And it is a bit scary, yeah. isn't it? Uh, there's twice I, I've been. Once we were up in Scotland and went across the Isle of May uh, to see the whatever it was, birds were on the island. And uh, it was a bit dicey as to whether the boat went or not. Anyway, it went over. And it was one of these small touring boats. You know, It takes about 35, 40 people. And it was a bit choppy going over there. And as we pulled into the harbour on the Isle of May, I overheard the captain say to one of the fellas, if they thought that was bad, wait till we go back. And when we went back, you could see the boat going up and down like this. And unfortunately, we'd booked a meal in a restaurant when we got back, you know, but for, unfortunately, I couldn't stomach it, you know. And that's not the worst thing of being sinking. It was the worst thing of kind of, for me, not being upset and all that kind of thing when you're on a boat. And there were a few, and what made me upset most, I think, was the fact is I was on the boat here. And they always tell you to keep your eyes on the horizon, you know, when you're going up and down, it, it makes it a bit easier. But I sat here on the boat, and anybody that was feeling pukey, they brought them over to the, by the side of me, and they were puking up over the side of the boat, and it made me feel... But I wasn't, so that's... And the other time, we went across to Holland, but we were on a big boat. And um, although it was a bit rough, we weren't actually, you know, um, Tom and Dick, if you know what I mean. Uh, but you didn't notice it so much when you're on a, on a bigger boat. So it was at Jesus' suggestion that they got into the boat. Jesus said, uh, let's go over to the other side of the lake. So Jesus knows everything about everybody and he knew what was going to happen. So he said to them, let's get into the boat, let's go over the other side. And uh, he was tired, shows the humanity of the Lord Jesus, and he went to sleep at the back of the boat. Now these people were seasoned disciples or seasoned fishermen and they were used to being on a bit rough but this was even scary uh, for them. But Jesus was in control even though he was asleep on the boat. And um, if you notice it says there were other boats with them but Jesus was only in the one boat. The other boats were going along with them. Whether they were following Jesus or just because they had seen and heard what he did, they wanted to go uh, with him. And their Jesus' words, they, they came and they woke Jesus and they said, don't you care? Because Jesus cares. He cares about you, he cares about me, he cares about our situations and circumstances of life. But they believed that Jesus could do something and he did. So he stood up and he said, peace, be still. So the people in the boat where Jesus was got the, the benefit of the waves stopping. But also the people that were in the other boats, they got the benefit of the waves stopping. And I think, what did they think? How did that happen? The people in the boat with Jesus knew exactly what had happened because he stood up and said, peace, be still. But the people in the other boats... They only got the evidence of it when the waves stopped and the wind stopped and the boats became still. And I like to think it was dramatic. Not that it just kind of died gently, that it just stopped. And how could Jesus do that? Well, he put it there in the first place. He was there in the creation when he created the world. So he had control over these things. And then Jesus says to them, why are you afraid? You're seasoned fishermen. You're in this boat, but you woke me up because you were scared. Have you no faith? They'd seen what Jesus could do. They'd heard what Jesus could do. But when you're in that situation, that circumstance, when it seems overwhelming, you cry out, don't you care? But of course Jesus cares. And we are together on the ocean of life. And we are in our boats and some of us may be in a little rowing boat. Some of us might be in a liner 
I don't know. And when storms come, if you're in a little boat, it gets more affected than it does if it's in a liner or a big ship. But while I've been preparing this and thinking about this, um, there's some songs that have come to mind, and I'm not going to sing them to you. Why not? No. <laughs> Master, the tempest is raging. Do you know that one? Yeah. The billows are tossing high. The sky is all shadowy blackness. No shelter or help is nigh. Carest thou not that we perish? How canst thou lie asleep when each moment so madly is threatening a grave in the open deep? And I think this expresses how the disciples are feeling when this storm. And then it says, Peace, be still. Whether the wrath of the storm tossed sea, or demons or men, whatever they be, no waters can swallow the ship where lies the master of ocean and earth and skies. And so if we're in this life, on the ocean, in our boat, and if Jesus is with us, what we have learned in the light, we don't forget when it gets dark. Because when things are going well, we can trust in Jesus and everything's honky-dory. But when things start to get a bit difficult and hard, it's the same Jesus that we can trust. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we might think, because things aren't turning out the way, that Jesus is asleep in our boat, that he doesn't care. But because he cares. And he wants us to call out to him to help us in each situation. When upon wise billows you are tempest-tossed, when you are discouraged, thinking all is lost. So amid the conflict, whether great or small, do not be discouraged. God is over all. Count your many blessings, angels will attend, help and comfort give you to your journey's end. And so we do, through life, have difficulties. We do, through life, have problems. But Jesus said to his disciples, my peace I give you, my peace I leave with you. Not as the world gives. And so, although we may be in troubled seas, though there may be in difficulties, we can know that peace, that inner peace of God in our hearts and in our lives. And so, the, the Bible, as I've said, the Bible said there were other boats with them. And you know, sometimes when God blesses our lives and comes into our lives and gives us that peace and his presence... Other people who may be travelling along with us notice a difference. They might not believe in God, they may not know God, they may not even be interested in him. But they see the evidence of God working in your life. And it might draw them into questioning, why are you so peaceful in these difficult situations? Because we have a faith in a God. And that uh, song we started with is, Not I but Christ who lives in me. And he gives me the power and the strength to go through the difficult and the hard circumstances of life. And I suppose if we went round the room this morning, you could give episodes in life when it's been difficult as when it's been hard. But the one constant is, is Jesus. He is the one that comes alongside and helps and encourages each step of the way. So when Jesus works in our life, not only does he bring blessing to, other, to us, but he also brings blessing to other people in our lives. Those boats that were along with Jesus, although he wasn't in that boat, they got the benefit of the waves stopping and the waves being still. I'd like to thank James because he chose that second song, He is Lord, He is Lord, He is risen from the dead, He is Lord. And if He's Lord of our life, when we're in the ocean of life and the storms come, then we know that we can trust Him and know that He can help us each step of the way. So then, it says, why are you afraid? And we can be afraid of the things that life throws at us. We can be concerned about the things that life throws at us. And Jesus said, do you still have no faith? Somewhere else he says, do you have little faith? But Jesus said, if we've got faith as small as a mustard seed, I said little faith, it doesn't matter how big our faith is, it's who our faith is in. And if our faith is in Jesus Christ, then when life storms come, as they will come, then we can trust and help him. That we help in our lives. And we sing a song uh, to close with that we sing to, to kids sometimes with Jesus in the boat. We can smile at the storm. Yeah. But it's difficult, isn't it, sometimes? To smile when things are getting hard and difficult. But Jesus is the constant. And like he, excuse me, still the waves of that storm, he can still the waves of the storms that come into our life.
and we're gonna sing a funny song. I'll just close for a prayer, shall I? Shall I pray or shall I not pray? I'm looking to Sarah for Father God, we thank you that you are Lord over all. Thank you that you know our hearts and our lives. You know the difficulties that we face each day. We thank you that you promise to be with us, to support, help and strengthen us. And though things turn out difficult, help us to keep trusting you as we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And